Your Grace, I want to you say... You will not speak. How do I know you are who you say you are? If only I were otherwise. If you are Tyrion Lannister, why shouldn't I kill you? To pay your family back for what it did to mine. You want revenge against the Lannisters? I killed my mother, Joanna Lannister, on the day I was born. I killed my father, Tywin Lannister, with a bolt to the heart. I am the greatest Lannister killer of our time. So I should welcome you into my service because you murdered members of your own family. Into your service? Your Grace, we have only just met. It's too soon to know if you deserve my service. If you'd rather return to the fighting pits, just say the word. When I was a young man, I heard a story about a baby born during the worst storm in living memory. She had no wealth, no lands, no army, only a name and a handful of supporters, most of whom probably thought they could use that name to benefit themselves. They kept her alive, moving her from place to place, often hours ahead of the men who'd been sent to kill her. She was eventually sold off to some warlord on the edge of the world, and that appeared to be that. And then, a few years later, the most well-informed person I knew told me that this girl, without wealth, lands, or armies, had somehow acquired all three in a very short span of time, along with three dragons. He thought she was our best, last chance to build a better world. Thought you were worth meeting, at the very least. And why are you worth meeting? Why should I spend my time listening to you? Because you cannot build a better world on your own. You have no one at your side who understands the land you want to rule. The strengths and weaknesses of the houses that will either join or oppose you. I will have a very large army. And very large dragons. Killing and politics aren't always the same thing. When I served as Hand of the King, I did quite well with the latter, considering the king in question preferred torturing animals to leading his people. I could do an even better job. Advising a ruler worth the name, if that is indeed what you are. So you want to advise me? Very well. What would you have me do with him? I swore I would kill him if he ever returned. I know. Why should the people trust a queen who can't keep her promises? Whomever Sir Jorah was when he started informing on you, he is no longer that man. I can't remember ever seeing a sane man as devoted to anything as he is to serving you. He claims he would kill for you and die for you, and nothing I have witnessed gives me reason to doubt him. And yet he did betray you. Did he have an opportunity to confess his betrayal? Yes. Many opportunities. And did he? No. Not until forced to do so. He worships you. He is in love with you, I think. But he did not trust you with the truth. An unpleasant truth, to be sure, but one of great significance to you did not trust that you would be wise enough to forgive him. So I should kill him. A ruler who kills those devoted to her is not a ruler who inspires devotion. And you're going to need to inspire devotion, a lot of it, if you're ever going to rule across the narrow sea. But you cannot have him by your side when you do. Remove Sejora from the city. <laughs>